A deep dive dispute brewing tonight. It's all over a planned expedition to the site of the famous Titanic shipwreck and what explorers could find on the ocean floor. Researchers have been exploring the Titanic wreckage for more than 30 years now, but human remains have never been found. But now as divers want to retrieve the ship's radio equipment, the U.S. government is hoping to stop that planned mission in court. And joining us tonight to discuss the dispute is Dr. David Gallo, oceanographer, deep sea explorer, and senior advisor for strategic initiatives for RMS Titanic Incorporated. Dr. Gallo, thank you so much for joining us tonight. And Nicole, my pleasure. All right, so the goal of this dive would be to retrieve a Marconi radio telegraph on board when the ship sank back in 1912. So can you explain, Dr. Gallo, how would the process of removing it actually work? Sure, sure. Well, actually, the goal of the whole expedition is to continue work we began back in 2010, which was mapping the entire site because uh, the company's interest is in preserving the legacy of that ship. And if you're going to preserve something, you need to know what's there. Um, as we did that, and over time, people have noticed that the ship, it's 108 years beneath the waves, is starting to uh, corrode, especially the upper parts of the ship. And uh, one of the places where it's most obvious is above the Marconi room, the telegraph room, where the SOS was sent. And so, uh, you know, we come to a point now where we say, well, do we let nature take its course and then lose that Marconi, very historic instrument, uh, do we lose it forever to the ocean, or do we try to recover it with minimal, if any, damage to the ship itself? All right, so now let's, there's some controversy here, though, about the retrieval, whether or not there are human remains on board still. We know the lawyers for the federal government have tried to block this retrieval, but what's your response? Yeah, you know, I'm sort of mystified by the whole thing, Nicole, because the same people, the government, uh, National Oceanographic and, and Atmospheric Administration, National Park Service. These were our partners back in 2010. Uh, we uh, applauded, they applauded, uh, we enjoyed, we uh, celebrated our success back then. We worked for the past nine years to get ready for the next expedition. Uh, we released a press release not long ago, about a year ago, saying the partnership still exists. We're going to go, then all of a sudden, boom, gone. And so uh, I sort of understand uh, their point. There's two different things here. One is, is it a grave site, the ship itself and around the ship? The other one is, uh, do you have the right, does someone have the right to actually go into the ship and recover something? So I do understand those things. But I'm, and you know, I think the court has seen it uh, in the, uh, on the side of the company more that in order to preserve the legacy of the ship, to honor those that sailed the border, uh, it would be important to recover this piece of equipment. All right, Dr. Gallo, as we're talking to you, we are showing a split screen there, seeing that footage. It really is amazing. If human remains were to be found, though, how would that even be handled? Well, that's a good question. That's a great question. So uh, in the many, many, many uh, expeditions that have gone there in the hundreds of dives and robotic lowering, no one's ever seen direct evidence of human remains, not on the surface, not inside the hull and certainly not uh, under the surface. But when we go, even though it's not been seen, we act like it's a grave site. We don't dig in the sediments. We don't pick things up and look at them. So we go uh, very carefully about that. And you know, we need to work out, and we're still working it out, exactly what we do should we encounter uh, human remains. But we don't think that's imminent. Inside the ship, if we got up into the bow, we may have that issue. But again, you know, the company's uh, point of view is that we have to do what's right for the ship and what's right for the passengers that sailed aboard that ship. Absolutely. Well, we'd love to follow up with you, especially if you do find something. Dr. David Gallo, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thanks, Nicole.